Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. Our next independent team surprised a lot of people last year by going 8-5 and five and also snapping their long losing streak to Navy. They are the Army Black Knights. So Army surprised a lot of people last season by going 8-5 and five and getting to their first bowl game since 2010. This year they returned 16 starters including 9 on offense and 7 on defense including their dual threat quarterback in Ahmad Bradshaw who is going into his senior year. So this season I think they're a much stronger team than the team that won 8 games last year. But we'll have to see if I think they're going to match that. They can be stronger. It doesn't mean they're going to match the eight win, uh, eight win mark from last year. So we're just going to play it by ear and see. Opening up the season against Fordham, easy FCS opponent. Should never put anything past these FCS teams, though, because they have nothing to lose. But Army, I think, with it being at home, FCS team, nothing to worry about. Get the win there. And then Buffalo, another team that uh, has, has been struggling a lot lately. Uh, but with it being at home for Army, I think they're going to get the win over Buffalo. Maybe not easily. Uh, but it shouldn't be too too difficult for them to get the win. And then back-to-back -back bowl games. You knew it was coming, playing some really big powerhouse. Here it is at Ohio State. I think Army could potentially hang with the Buckeyes for a quarter or so, but in the end, the Buckeyes will pull away. I think we all expect that. I think Army probably knows that as well, uh, and I think they're going to lose to Ohio State. And then at Tulane, another team that is really improving the American Athletic Conference. Uh, they have a lot of returning starters, so they're no team... Uh, to just kind of bypass, just look over them, look ahead to the next week at UTEP. I really do think Army is going to lose to Tulane. I think Tulane's on the rise, not you know as a power in the American Athletic, but they do have a lot of returning starters. And they'll win more games than they did last year. And unfortunately for Army, I see them losing to Tulane on the road. And that's another key factor is that it's on the road as well. So two and two, uh, going to the last game of September. UTEP, a team that I really think is going to struggle this season. Their schedule, they have talent there. They have a lot of returning starts coming back, but the schedule is just really, really difficult for the Miners this season. And right now, I think Army, with it being at home and with them being experienced and hungry to get back-to-back -back bowls, uh, I think they're going to get the win over UTEP. And then at Rice, Rice is a team that's led by a bunch of juniors and seniors this, uh, this season, very experienced. They have 15 returning starters. Uh, and once again, it's another road game, and that does concern me. Road games, uh, home field advantage, I really do believe in that. And with it being at Rice, a team that is trying to win some games in the Conference USA and get to another bowl game, uh, I think Army, going on the road, they're going to lose this game to the Rice Owls. And then Eastern Michigan, another surprise team uh, from the MAC last season who made their first bowl game in what seemed like forever. Uh, they returned 16 starters, including a very dynamic quarterback as well. Uh, and I really don't like this matchup for Army. Even though it's at home, I think Eastern Michigan is going to want to get back to the back-to-back -to -back bowl games. And with a very experienced team, uh, I think Army, unfortunately, will lose this game to the Eastern Michigan Eagles. And I really do think Eastern Michigan has the potential to get back to a bowl game. I like their quarterback. Uh, I like that they have 16 returning starters. Uh, so I think they, they could upset a few people on the MAC and uh, really compete and get back to another bowl game. But like I said, Army has Alon Bradshaw at quarterback. He's very dynamic, mostly in the run, because that's what Army does. All these, uh, you know, all the military service schools, Air Force, um, Navy, Army, they usually like to run the ball a lot. And Ahmad Bradshaw uh, is good for that. If you remember at Navy, they had Keenan Reynolds. Uh, he set the record uh, for NCAA with that. So Ahmad Bradshaw, in the end, will carry this team. He's got the skills, and he's going to get uh, Army to where they need to be. And after two straight losses... And a three and four record, they get Temple at home. A Temple is a team that I think will still compete in the American Athletic Conference, but after losing Matt Rule to uh, to Baylor, uh, I don't know how well they're going to be with a uh, with a brand new head coach. Uh, they do have a decent amount of returning starters, and I do see Temple getting back to a bowl game. But uh, will they be will they have enough to defeat Army on the road? I don't think so. I think Army will get the win over at Temple there, and then they get to go into a bye week with a four and four record. 500, and they're only two wins away from getting to back-to-back -back bowl games, something that hasn't been done in a very long time in Army. I mean, remember, last year was the first time they had been to a bowl since 2010. Coming off a of bye week, they go to Air Force. Uh, this is a game that really does scare me a little bit. Air Force has a very high-flying offense, and so will Army this season with nine returning starters on offense. Uh, with it being on the road and with Air Force being uh, in a better conference playing, this late in the season they would have played better competition uh, from the Mountain West. And I think Air Force is going to get the win over Army here. And then Army plays Duke at home, another ACC opponent. Um, Duke's a team that returns 12 starters but should improve a little bit from last season. In my Duke video, I do not have them making a bowl. I have them falling just short. Uh, but it would not surprise me if the Blue Devils get there. 
And I think Duke, like I said with the Air Force, playing a lot more better competition this late in the season. They kind of know what to expect. They face better teams in Army. And even though it's uh, at home for Army, I'm going to project a loss here for them. So, unfortunately, they are 4-6. and six. They need back-to-back -back wins over North Texas and Navy. Uh, North Texas is a team that Army met twice last season. They lost to North Texas in their regular season and then faced them again in their bowl game, which they won in overtime. Uh, and that was really exciting. That was really one heck of a game. And Ahmad Bradshaw really carried the Black Knights through those game, or through that bowl game and got them their first win into the eight-win season. That was a really exciting game. This year it's at North Texas. North Texas is a team I do think will struggle a little bit. Uh, you know, this season they, they made it to a bowl game last year, uh, luckily for them. Uh, I think they ended up going 5-8. and eight. I, think, I think they were one of those 5-7 and seven teams that snuck in and then lost the bowl game. Um, and so with it being on the road, I think the motivation is going to be there for Army. I think the seniors on this team is, are going to carry them, and I think they're going to get the win over North Texas. And then, of course, they get a few weeks off before the classic Army-Navy game. Last year, remember, Army snapped that long losing streak to Navy, uh, and that was one of the greatest in moments, I think, in college football last year was just seeing them upset Navy uh, for their first win in years. This year, uh, Army is going to be playing this game for bowl eligibility. Uh, it's, it's a huge deal. I mean, if they win this, they're going bowling. And I think Army's going to do it. I think Army is going to win back-to-back -back games over Navy, something that hasn't been done and who can remember. And I think they're going to get the win over Navy. I really do. Navy's a team that I think will struggle a little bit this season. Not the Navy we used to see with Keenan Reynolds as dynamic. They're still going to be good. Uh, but they're playing tougher competition. Might not get to a bowl game this season. You'll have to wait and see when we do American Athletic predictions. But I think Army is going to upset Navy yet again. Uh, they actually might be favored uh, in Vegas, Army will be. But they get the win over Navy. And they will be going bowling for back-to-back -back years. 6-6 six and six record for Army. They're going to another bowl game, if you ask me. 16 starters back. Ahmad Bradshaw, quarterback. I really love him. I really do think Army is a very talented team, and I think they will get back to a bowl game this season. And that's something to be very excited for uh, Black Knight fans. That's just, I mean, I'd be ecstatic if I were them. Back to back bowl games, especially since they had been on such a long bowl drought. Uh, this is going to be a very good year for Army. Taking a little bit of a step down from the 8 and 5 season last year, but I do think they'll get back to a bowl game. Uh, if you look at games that could potentially be toss-ups, I really don't see many. I mean, I know a lot of people could say the, the Rice game could be one, the Tulane game could be one. Uh, with both of those being on the road and both of those having uh, very talented teams, a lot of returning starters, I'm going to keep it like it is. Uh, and I think Army will finish 6-6, six and six, but make another bowl game in back-to-back -back years. So it's going to be a very exciting season to watch uh, Army this year, and especially that Navy game. The stakes will be so high in that one. I'm very excited to watch. So please continue to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to share our videos. Uh, like I said, the more you share, the more we grow, and we really appreciate that. And we'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.